I'm at BYU, and I hear there's a new creative chef on campus. Can you come see what we're making? Yeah, I'm really interested. Hi, are you Liz? Yes. Nice to meet you. My Great. name's Dan. I hear there's a new chef on campus. <laughs> this is it right here. <laughs> this is it. Yep. It, its name is Pierre. Pierre. Pseudo intelligent evolutionary real time recipe engine. My research area is artificial intelligence. One way to think about that is what can we do to make computers more intelligent, more like humans? I'm interested in anything creative that you probably think people need to do that, not computers. Compose music, paint art, create recipes, whatever you need your creativity for, I think it's fun to think about, can we have a computer do that? How does a computer learn to cook? Well, kind of like people learn to cook. It looks at thousands and thousands of recipes and learns what makes a good recipe and what makes a bad recipe. What would you like for dinner tonight? Anthony bacon, tomato, cacciatore. Broth of pure joy. What? Okay. Okay, I've never heard a recipe like that before. <laughs> Divine steak over water. What? <laughs> now that's funny. Does it come up with the names on its own? It does, but it's very constrained. It seems funny when they come out. Some of them are kind of funny. Often they're pretty odd. It's just a very simple template. Putting all these recipes together on the computer, what was your goal? W what we want is tasty recipes, but we also want original recipes. Right. So things that are surprising, things that you might not expect to be good, but in, in fact they are good. As much as possible, we want the computer to be very autonomous, to come up with a unique tasty recipe and somehow know that it's done it, so that it can feel confident that you will like Zippy Tea with Bean Blend. There are several normal ingredients, tomatoes, onions, vegetable broth, everything that would be in a typical soup, but then it throws in jalapenos, Bananas, bananas, which will be very interesting to see what they look like in one pot. Okay, just mm -hmm. throw it in and we'll see what happens. Yeah. It's still hard to believe that the computer could turn out a recipe that would taste good. Well, it didn't start out tasting good. They were too crazy, like way too much salt, or things mm. that didn't look like you could eat them. Mm. So after we ironed some of that out, we got it to the point where we were willing to try it and people said they tasted like grass. Mm. I'm a little worried. <laughs> I've never seen a recipe like this before in my life. Well, I guess the taste is what matters. We'll find out. <laughs> we have a couple of dietitian students, April and Aubrey, who have cooked up one of our dishes. So we cooked the broth of joy. Oh, broth of pure joy, excuse broth me. Of pure joy. The, yeah. That's yes. even better. The broth, oh yeah, better. pure joy. Have you girls actually tasted this yet? We have not. No, we haven't. No. Let's try it. Let's We're see what you guys it? think. Yeah. It's actually yummy. I can't believe yeah. it. It actually tastes like a hamburger stew. I love the beans. Mm -hmm. I love the chickpeas. The hamburger tastes great, and the steak kind of tops it off. Well, it's good. So we've actually tried this recipe before. We had a festival of computational creativity in Paris last summer, and we served this to real French people, and they enjoyed they it. Ate it. it. Yeah, they, they enjoyed liked, it. I guess they liked it. They ate it all. <laughs> I hope the rest of the recipes are this good. So what was the recipe that you guys made today? So we have the Heavenly Bacony Tomato Cacciatore. That's a name for you. Well, what did you guys think about it? There were some measurements that were a little bit odd. Instead of just saying three cups, it was two cups and seven eighths. Mm -hmm. And so well, there's a little odd measurements. Ladies, I like it. Be honest. My mouth is burning. <laughs> Good. I think it's really spicy. If it had curry in it, it would be totally, totally Indian to me and I would pour it over rice. I was gonna say, I'd eat okay. it with rice right now. I kinda like the banana in it. Why do you think the computer would actually select a banana? The way the system's built is that and one of the things it tries to do is put odd combinations together. So it's trying to be different. That's what's interesting about it is because mm. it will do things you wouldn't do and they just might work out. Mm. If you're gonna throw bananas into something like this and have it taste good, what else is it gonna throw in there? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. I'm surprised. Yeah. That's good. 